Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Down Channel. We're here off of Gabriel Drive in East Las Vegas off of Spencer. We have Spencer coming up here. So your major cross streets here are really going to be like Tropicana and Eastern here on the uh, east side of town. We had a request from a viewer to come down here and take a look for them. We get that uh, sort of thing a lot. Folks that used to live here and have moved on elsewhere. I definitely understand that, of course. Wanting to see uh, what's up with your former home. And um, going across Spencer now. You can see the homes here on the north side of Gabriel. Nice brick home there, Corral Place, we're now passing. I'll do the south side when we turn around up here. This road actually dead ends right into Eastern. Brings us up here to Bridalwood Drive. Temperature outside right now, the car reads 112. I don't think it's that hot. Rancho Hills Drive there. And Gaslight Circle. How'd you like to be known as the one that lives off a of Gaslight Circle? Yikes. And that brings us to Latigo. There is Eastern right up there behind that gate, Eastern Avenue. We're going to go ahead and turn it around. Mercedes up on jacks there in the uh, driveway. I'm now looking at the south side of Gabriel. Pull down the old visor there. There is the aforementioned gaslight. Drive. Having grown up in South Florida, I definitely definitely understand the desire to see how things are now see what your old house looks like that sort of thing neighborhood you grew up in etc brings us here to Bridalwood Drive old GMC there next to that house Very bright sun here. 3000 GT Mitsubishi there, two of them in fact. One might be a parts car. You guys have a bunch of boxes out front. And there we go, right back to Spencer here. So we'll make a right on Spencer, head back northbound. setting sun here off to our west. Colt Place now crossing here. We've got Carriage Lane. Definitely seeing a theme here. Horses. Lots of uh, equestrian related names. This is Harmon Avenue. Not quite a major east-west uh, east artery. Gets broken up quite a bit. It gets broken up by uh, UNLV, in fact. The UNLV campus. Jupiter Court now passing. Rochelle Avenue. We see Rochelle quite a bit throughout town. Sterling Ridge Adult Living, it said there. That'll 
that'll bring us up here to the light at Flamingo Road. Of course, Flamingo, Flamingo, Flamingo is a major east-west artery here in Las Vegas. Traveling all the way from the, the equestrian center way out on the east end of town, right up against the desert, the edge of the desert out there, all the way out west past the 215 Beltway on the western edge of town, and then it curves, I believe it curves north, and I just lost something there. Goodness. Road is in really bad shape. And I've said this before, um, it really seems like government here just takes all the tax revenue from all of the other areas of town and just dumps it all into the strip because so many of these roads are in terrible shape. But that's my humble opinion. Papa Go Lane there. And we're going over another one of the washes here in town. For those unfamiliar, when it rains here, the ground is too hard for the water to soak into, so it just pools and puddles up. And so it just kind of flows wherever. When that happens, you get a lot of cars that end up drowning in water. This becomes, actually, I think we're going to make a right here and go up Spencer. That was Twain there. And we got some uh, speed bumps here. here, lining the street. I'm going to take a moment. All right, and we'll continue northbound here on Spencer, showing you all things Vegas. Cherokee Lane here that we're about to intersect with. Again, this is another dated area, older part of town over here. I'd show you the west side here to my left, but uh, the sun forbids me from doing that right now. This is Coman Comanche. Comanche Drive right here up ahead of us. Seneca Drive right here. We'll go ahead and make a right here. Look at this home. This looks like something that's been uh, completely remodeled there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool in my humble opinion. So we continue down Seneca here. I thought it was keeping the name Spencer. Look at that Hummer. Yellow with the, uh, that's an H3. That's supposed to be the baby of the bunch. We'll make a left here onto Desert Inn, which is another major east-west artery here in town. And we've got a lot of cross traffic here. Car now reads 104, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. With the uh, sun setting off to the west here, of course. We'll go ahead and pull out. We'll show you the north side of Desert Inn here because of the uh, glare from the sun. Pawnee Drive. Would you look at that? Huh. If you've watched this show, Parks and Recreation, Pawnee should be very familiar to you. <laughs> this is La, La Canada Street. We'll make a right on La Canada. And uh, we'll 
to show you a little neighborhood right in here. Try and keep the uh, sun off of it here. See that building's all boarded up there. We got some cops up here. Um, I will actually put this back here for the moment. Apologies for the sun, folks. I uh, can't really do anything about it right now. I need to uh, figure out how I'm going to get around up here. Looks like there's a homeless encampment up here on the right that the cops are talking to. This guy looks like he's flying a kite. And there's debris, trash, in the middle of the roadway there. We will go here, back to Desert Inn, and make a right. Furniture Fashions mattress sale right there. We got some cross traffic, so we'll wait for that. So yeah, that, that's a little neighborhood right here off of Desert Inn, just west of Maryland Parkway. Or I'm sorry, just east of Maryland Parkway. And you get a lot of these all over town that just pop up. We'll go ahead and uh, make the turn here. Applebee's over there on the corner. And we'll wait our turn. Got the green light here. We will get the sun out of your way in just a moment. We'll make a right here on the Maryland Parkway. Got a Carl's Jr. That's a fast food place here. Burgers and fries, things like that, right there on the corner. I guess we got some pedestrians coming here that I didn't see. Galaxy Theater over here, Luxury Plus, over on our left, here at the intersection of Desert Inn and Maryland Parkway. Carl's Jr. is owned by the same company, of course, that owns Hardee's back east. Saw some of those in St. Louis when we were in St. Louis. Now entering the town of West Winchester, that is, Winchester. Right here, as we continue northbound on Maryland Parkway. Adult trauma, this is Sunrise Children's Hospital, right here on your right. Sunrise Hospital is where you're going to end up, Hospital and Medical Center right here on the right. It's where you're gonna end up if you uh, end up needing medical services while staying on the strip. Adult emergency trauma. I believe it's the only, oh man, I've, trauma level, level three or level five trauma center in the state. I, I forget. I, I remember reading it one time and then I just totally forgot. Steinberg Diagnostic, that's a, uh, you know, for MRIs and stuff like that there. Of course, they're going to be located right there behind the hospital. And 7-Eleven right here on the right. One of 166 here in the valley. Shout out to 7-Eleven man. A pillar of our biggest on community. LVAC over here on the left, that's Las Vegas Athletic Club. It's a chain of gyms that they have here. Sam Ash, that's a music, a, a musical equipment and instrument store over here on the left. I would show it to you, but it's really bright out. And this again brings us up here to Liberace and Karen Avenue, which we just saw in a previous video. Feel free to check that out. Oh, goodness, and there's a bus. Get around him. Looks like someone plays a cruel joke on you, right? And they turn and there's a bus sitting right there. Jack in the Box, that's fast food here. Burgers and fries again. A lot of fast food here on this side of town especially. But they have fast food on the other side of town too. This brings us up here to the light at Sahara Avenue, major east-west artery here in Las Vegas. Have a lot of video of our time driving up and down Sahara. Feel free to check that out in our library as well. And there's another 7-Eleven. Goodness, they are, there are so many of them. And they're so close to one another. Got another Dottie's Casino over there on the left. That's a chain of gambling halls here in town. Nuevo San Salvador right there. And that's gonna bring us up here to St. Louis Avenue appropriately named for uh, the recent trip that I was just on. 
see a church over there on the right. This is Phillips Avenue, or uh, just passing now. Wait our turn here at St. Louis. All right, we got the light here at St. Louis, now continuing northbound on Maryland Parkway. On the left side of your screen, you might be able to see the top of Circa. That's downtown Las Vegas there, where Fremont Street Experience is. Bonita Avenue, St. Anne Catholic School right there on the right. Oakey Avenue coming up here. This bright building here, Central Technical Training Academy, Global Community High School is what that says. I'm Clark County School District Family Support Center right across the street from it here. I don't know if that's a public school or not, but uh, it looks pretty new. This is okay, not quite a major north, uh, east-west artery here in town. It gets broken up in several places. We actually do have time of our uh, driving up and down Oki. Feel free to check that out. Real estate, notary public, business licenses, divorces. Oh, here we go, more divorces. $300 plus fees, seven to 10 business days, immigration. See these uh, green and purple buildings here off to the right. This is Franklin Avenue. We are now passing, and then the uh, for whatever reason, city planners put us put a park right there in the middle of this roadway for some inexplicable reason. We're going to make a right here onto Jessica Street. want to take a moment as we really appreciate each and every single one of you again we would not be here without you and that's a fact please do like follow and subscribe to us on youtube and tiktok if you haven't already it helps recommend us to other viewers and it helps the algorithm especially when you like follow share and subscribe your voices carry so much more weight with the algorithm and uh, also check out our uh, vegas don shirts and gear available on the merch section of our the shop section of our uh, youtube channel with the vegas don logo on top of the las, las vegas strip skyline maybe you'll find something there for yourself or your significant other for the upcoming holiday season and as always remember here on the vegas don channel it's the journey thank you for cruising with us we'll see you next time